minerals and whatever built up around it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Oh my gosh. Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how I refill these airless pump bottles. These are the best. I love them for facial products. As long as it's not too runny or too thick, they work awesome. Let's do the cleansers. These are probably the easiest and I will show you exactly why. So the things that I'm gonna use, I have alcohol and a cotton ball out here because I use my eyeliner brush to, well, I'll show you. So I get alcohol. Let's open these up first. So the way that these are made is they have this little lid and then you can screw this part off. So I just put the lid on and then see how this is just a little, just a little nubby thing. You need to push this little seal down to the bottom and that's where I use my makeup brush. So I'm just going to put some alcohol on here, rubbing alcohol and just clean the handle because well, it can collect bacteria and all sorts of stuff. So I stick it in here and push it down. See how that is? Pull it out and then I have a little bit of um, soap on the end. I actually have a napkin down here that I'm going to wipe that off with. So leave that there. And then I will take my cleanser, open this. And the reason that I, so I just pump this in here. The reason that I like to use these little bottles is because I can keep them on the counter or I can put them like in a little container or something. And that way I don't have to have these giant bottles sitting on my counter. I can tuck them away into my storage area or keep them underneath the sink. I'm going a little faster than normal. You need to make sure that you don't go up to the very top. You have to give yourself just a little bit of room. It's right here and I might have overdone it because there's so much material that's going to go in there that's actually not bad so there's a little bit of air at the top so I'm just going to unscrew it just a bit and then I'm going to take this little guy that is a dental pick and there's a little hole at the bottom of this and I stick it in there and I'm going to push up very slowly and gently and that is going to get the air out and then I twist it put the cap on this is full, that one is refilled. So now I'm going to do the one that I use in the shower. I don't keep a cap on the one in the shower and it's constructed just slightly differently. I mean, they're basically the same thing. Um, it's just that this one takes up more room at the top, the little piece that goes in there. It takes up more room. Um, I'm just gonna run this through the alcohol again real quick. This bottle needs to be cleaned, but I'm not going to worry about it just for video sake and time's sake. So there's actually water coming out the bottom of this because it was in my shower. So when I push it down, watch the, the bubbles come out the bottom, if you can see that. So I have it all the way at the bottom. I'm gonna wipe off the sides just a bit. That's the napkin that I was using. So just wipe this off. And then I'm going to refill this one. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> now, the reason that I say that, that, that it's easier to refill the bottles with the cleanser versus the lotion is because, is because it is so runny that you don't have to tap the bottle down. And I'll show you that in a second here. So you can see I'm just pumping the lotion into, or the cleanser into here. I'm getting all mixed up. So I'm just gonna fill it to about there. That's just at that line at the bottom of the neck, I guess it would be. And then I'm just going to put the lid on and that one is good to go. Next, okay, so I'm just gonna take this one out of the way. I'm going to refill the moisturizer. So same deal, you know, they have their cap. Unscrew it. Yeah, this one's really bad. So I'll just wipe this off. It's a dried moisturizer, probably from being overfilled the last time. Now, another reason, let me just show you another reason that I use this pick. 
at the bottom, which you probably can't see, there are two little holes. And this little disc comes out. So I stick this in and pop it right out. So now there's an opening at the bottom. If you use this without this little cap, this seal thing that gets pushed up will come right out the bottom and you don't want that. So you need to make sure that you hold on to these little dealios. But I just wanna show you why, um, why I use this. It's curved and it fits in there just perfectly. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my um, makeup brush again, clean it off, and then I'm just going to push this down. You see how that came down? Now, just to show you this again, now my hands are full, I'm gonna take the bottom off. Take the bottom off. You can actually push it right back up. You can see how that went up? Use the back end. You can push it up. See how that's going up? So if you don't want to fill these all the way to the top, you can just go part of the way. So now I put the bottom back on so that when I push this down, I'm not going past that mark. Clean the lotion off of this. Now, this is the lotion that I use on my face. This is Burt's Bees and I wish that Burt's Bees would use this type of container instead of the traditional, I'll show you, tube that goes down because it's hard to get all of the lotion out and you have to smack the bottle around and it's a real big pain. So you basically just have to keep pumping and see how it's really, um, it's thick and so it doesn't go down as easily as the cleanser. So I have to smack it down and I have to do the same with my lotion. So I won't have you guys sit and watch me do all of this. I'm just gonna push that one out of the way and then show you this other one. So this is the hand lotion that I use. Again, twist that off. Let's just put a little bit of rubbing alcohol on here. And then I'm going to push this down. Let's see, you can probably see right there. See how that little disc is just sliding to the bottom? And then some of the lotion is still up at the top. Let's just clean this off. Now for this, I'm actually going to smack it down. So not very much came down. Then I'm gonna use, you have to have um, an opening on the lotion that you're using that is small enough. You know, if you have a really wide lotion, it's gonna be harder to get it into that little hole. So, see how this lotion's halfway? I'm gonna open that and this is, is that working? I'm just gonna squeeze it in there. I'm usually right up next to it, but then you guys can't see what's happening here. So sometimes it'll get stuck and you have this little ice cream cone thing on top. Gently tap it down. Um, if you tap it too hard, you're gonna end up having lotion on your walls or in your hair or just whatever you're around. So it's kind of, it's just something that you have to learn, something you play with and you do, um, you know, whenever you need to refill these. So actually this bottle that I'm using, this one here, I refill this with the big lotion, a big bottle of lotion. So I just tap this down. Because if you guys know me, I cannot live without lotion. So it's a must for me to have this inside of my purse. I'm just gonna wipe that off. And I think I could put a little bit more, but I'm not going to. Because you can tell I've overfilled this one multiple times and it gets crusty and dry in there. Sometimes I'll take a Q-tip and I'll just clean it out, but I didn't bring any Q-tips with me to make this video. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So you can gently put the lid on, take your little pick or poker, whatever you're using, and just gently push and you can see your product go up and then twist your lid on. And that's it. So this is how it comes out, if you guys can see that. See that? So I just love, can't do this with rings on. 
I love these little airless pump bottles. And like I said, I wish that some companies like Burt's Bees for their lotion, I wish that they would use them. Anyway, that's it for the video. I'll leave a product link for some of these air pump bottle type products. It's an affiliate link, but I'll leave it down below in the description in case you guys want to check that out. And I hope that this video helped you guys. Um, let me know if you have any comments or questions, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.